Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Color Correction and Final Cut Pro. Up until now, we've been focused on color correcting shots, so making sure the color was balanced, we had proper saturation and good dynamic range. In my next few videos, we'll focus more on the color grading part of color correction. This means we can use color and contrast to create some interesting looks for your clips that can complement the mood and the feel of your project. First thing we'll do is take a look at some color presets built into Final Cut Pro. Let's take a look at my first clip. If we open the video scopes for this clip, you can see it doesn't need much color correction. The image has good dynamic range, color balance seems good, and the color saturation seems right on. I always recommend color correcting your clip first before applying any color presets. Sometimes without proper exposure, color balance and saturation, your presets may not achieve the desired effect. Like I said earlier, my clip seems to have good color and all I want to do here is warm it up to give it a more desert feel. I'll open the inspector and bring up a color board by pressing command 6. Now from the presets drop down menu, I'll select warm. The nice thing about Final Cut Pro's color presets, as opposed to auto balance and match color effects, is they're adjustable. If I toggle between the color, saturation and exposure tabs, I can see what adjustments have been made to my image and can tweak them to exactly where I want. In this case, my only adjustments were adding a little bit of red to the midtones and bumping up in midtone saturation slightly. I'll toggle this effect off and on. A minor adjustment, but it does achieve the look I wanted. Let's try a more drastic preset. My next clip has already been color corrected and to keep this correction separate from my color presets, I'll add another color correction to this clip. In the color board, from the drop down menu beside color correction 1, I'll select add correction. Any changes I make to the clip now will be independent of my first color correction. Let's try making this clip look like it was filmed at night. From the presets drop down menu, I'll select the night preset. If I toggle through the color tabs, I can see exactly what adjustments have been made to my clip. And if I go back to the inspector, I can toggle my color correction and my color preset off and on individually. Let's toggle off the initial color correction and try the night effect without it. As you can see, the night preset is not as effective without the initial color correction. I'll turn the initial color correction back on. I can also go back into color correction too and tweak the adjustments to the way I want the clip to look. If you have more than one clip you want to apply this adjusted preset to, you can save it as a custom color preset. From the presets menu, select save preset and enter a name for it. Now you can apply the same adjusted preset to your next clip by selecting it from the drop down menu. This can also be used to make your own custom color preset and I'll go over that in one of my upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the rest of my channel and hit the subscribe button. New videos release twice a week. As always, likes, comments and shares are always appreciated. And if you have a couple minutes, check out my website, lptguide.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.